Hey friends, it's Robert. I've been receiving a lot of requests for more kid-friendly projects, so today we're gonna go really old school and revisit the classic clothespin doll. If you like this project and you wanna see more, I invite you to subscribe to my own channel by following the link in the video description below. And be sure to check out my playlist of kid-friendly DIY projects. Now, I love this project like so many kids' projects because there's no real right or wrong way to approach it. Kids have an amazing way of reimagining their crafts, and I find that it's usually a good idea just to roll with it. So what I want to show you today are some of the materials that are currently available and some basic construction techniques for you to run with. Now at the heart of the clothespin doll is the clothespin, and there are a couple of different varieties. There's the spring style clip, and then there's the peg clothespin, and that's what we're going to be using today. When I was a kid, we just used the rounded upper portion of the peg as the head, but they now have these round bobblehead style balls with holes drilled on the underside. They fit perfectly on top of the pegs and they're really cute. They also make round wooden rings that act as the feet and allow the dolls to stand. I also like to throw in some small round wood beads or balls to use as accessories or to build on the dolls. I'm gonna begin by taking two small round wood beads and gluing them on either side of the head to represent pigtails. Glue them on one at a time and allow them to dry. Then I'm gonna place the head on top of one of the clothespins to use as a handle while I paint the hair. The paint I'm using is just a standard acrylic craft paint. Depending on the type of paint you choose to use, you may find you need multiple coats for complete coverage. Then I'm gonna place the clothespin in one of the stands to allow the paint to dry. Next, I'm gonna paint one of the pairs of shoes a solid color. Then I wanna create some socks at the bottom of the legs and to do that, I'm going to take a piece of painter's tape, wrap it around the clothespin, and paint the bottom portion white. Once the paint is dry, I can remove the tape. Now I'm going to return to the head, paint on a pair of rosy cheeks, and then taking a small piece of wood dowel, I'm going to dip it into the paint and dot it onto the face to create the eyes. There are a couple of different ways you can create arms. One is to drill a hole through the top of the clothespin and slip a piece of pipe cleaner through. Or you can take a longer piece of pipe cleaner, wrap it around the peg, and glue it in place. One simple outfit you can create is a circle dress. I'm taking a round piece of fabric measuring about five and a half inches in diameter and cutting along the edge using a pair of pinking shears. This creates that decorative zigzag edge. Then fold the fabric into quarters and cut away the point. This is going to create a small hole that you can slip down over the top of the clothespin. For smaller children, you can just glue the dress in place. Or you can take a needle and thread, create a running stitch sewing in and out of the fabric around the hole, slip it over the top of the clothespin, and then pull the thread tight, cinching it up and tying it off. I like to cover up the top of the dress using a small piece of ribbon, gluing it in place. And then snip two holes in either side of the dress to pull the arms through. I also like to bend around the end of the pipe cleaner to represent hands. And then we can assemble our clothespin doll. Slip the head down onto the top of the clothespin, and then the bottom down into the stand. For other outfits, you might want to consider taking strips of fabric and gluing them directly onto the clothespin. That's how I created the tops and the shorts for these boy dolls. I do hope you and the kids in your life will give this project a try, have fun developing characters, and recreating them using these materials and techniques. Thank you so much for watching, and please join me next time for another fun DIY project.